Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the order of operations, and specifically, we're going to take a look at problems involving parentheses, brackets, and braces. Now remember, as far as the order of operations, we have parentheses and other grouping symbols like brackets and braces, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and lastly, we have addition and subtraction. So taking a look at parentheses, brackets, and braces, we have parentheses, brackets, and then braces. Now, all of these are grouping symbols and take priority within the order of operations. They come first. You can think of brackets and braces just like parentheses. Again, they are grouping symbols just like parentheses. Let's take a look at our examples and see how to work through problems involving multiple grouping symbols. And you may hear this called nested parentheses. Nested parentheses just means that parentheses are inside of other grouping symbols. So grouping symbols inside of grouping symbols. Let's jump into number one, where we start with brackets, and then within the brackets, we have 28 minus, and then in parentheses, six plus four, end parentheses, and then we end the brackets, divided by two. Let's work through the order of operations. Do we have any parentheses or other grouping symbols? Yes, we have parentheses and brackets. So we have parentheses nested within the brackets. When we have a problem like this with multiple grouping symbols, we always start with the innermost group. These parentheses right here, so six plus four, this is the innermost group. So this is where we need to start. Six plus four is 10. Now we need to bring down everything we did not use. So we have 28 minus 10 in brackets divided by two. So now we have brackets 28 minus 10 and brackets divided by two. And now we can continue to work through the order of operations. So do we have any parentheses or other grouping symbols? Yes, we have brackets. So that's what we need to do next. We have 28 minus 10 within those brackets. 28 minus 10 is 18. So we have 18 and then bring down everything we did not use. So divided by two and we end with 18 divided by two. That is nine, and this is our final answer. Final answer, nine. Let's move on to number two, where we have 50 minus, and then braces, then brackets, five times, and then parentheses, seven plus one, and parentheses, and brackets, plus three squared, and braces. We have multiple grouping symbols here parentheses, brackets, and braces. So we need to start with the innermost group. That's going to be these parentheses right here. We have seven plus one within those parentheses. So that's where we start. Seven plus one is eight. Bring down everything we did not use. So we have five times eight within brackets plus three squared and this is all within braces. And then we have 50 minus whatever we get within those braces. Now we have 50 minus and then braces, then brackets five times eight and brackets plus three squared and braces. Let's continue to work through the order of operations. Do we have any parentheses or other grouping symbols? Yes, we have both brackets and braces. So we need to do the innermost group next. That's going to be the brackets. We have five times eight within the brackets. Five times eight is 40. Bring down everything we did not use. So plus three squared 
and this is within braces. Then we have 50 minus whatever we get within those braces. Now we have 50 minus and then braces, 40 plus three squared and braces. So let's continue to work through the order of operations. Do we have any parentheses or other grouping symbols? Yes, we still have those braces. So that's what we need to work within next. We have 40 plus three squared within the braces. So we have addition and an exponent. Exponents come before addition. So we need to do three squared next. Three squared means three times three. So three squared is nine. So we have nine and then 40 plus nine. And this is within braces still. And then we have 50 minus whatever we get within those braces. Now we have 50 minus and then braces, 40 plus nine and braces. So we need to do 40 plus nine next, 40 plus nine is 49, bring down everything we did not use, and we now have 50 minus 49, and that's what we end with. 50 minus 49 is one, and this is our final answer. Final answer, one. So there you have it. There's how to work through order of operations problems involving multiple grouping symbols. So parentheses, brackets, and braces. Just remember, start with the innermost group and work from there. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.